Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. So if you've ordered prints, say you're ordering DTF prints or UV DTF stickers, you may have saw the term gang sheet used. So today we're going to go over what a gang sheet is and how you would make one in Canva to order prints. Now this doesn't only apply to ordering prints. If you have your own printer, even a sublimation printer, you can make gang sheets to print and you can utilize all of that paper instead of just printing one thing on the sheet. So gang sheet is a term from the printing industry and it is basically where you take a bunch of files that you wanna print and combine them together onto one sheet so that you utilize the entire sheet of paper or in a lot of these cases, the film that you print on. So whatever you're printing on, if you wanna utilize the entire area, creating a gang sheet is the way to do that. Now, before you get started, you will need the files that you wanna print, what you are going to put them on eventually so you know what size to make them, or generically. So I know that shirts are approximately this size. I know that hats are about this size. I know that pockets are around this size. If you know generically, you can kind of fill that sheet up and use those prints at a later time. So basically you need those two things, the files and an idea of what you're gonna put them on or the size that the prints need to be. Then we're gonna use the free online program of Canva to create this. Now, if you have abilities in other types of design software, you can definitely use those in order to create these files. I will just say that you need to make sure that the files you're using to print are high quality. So you want a 300 DPI for the resolution of the files you're gonna to use to print. And then when you group them all together on a sheet, when you download it, you wanna make sure you keep that resolution. So that would be the only things to watch out for when creating a gang sheet. So let's take a look at creating an example gang sheet. So first of all, what size do we need to make this gang sheet? Wherever you are gonna order your transfers. So let's say I'm gonna order full color DTF transfers from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I would check out what sheet sizes they have, first of all. So they have a huge wide variety of sheet sizes. If I was just ordering, say, a three by three or a six by six, I might only have one design on it as shown in this picture. However, if you will scroll down to the description, it does say that you can use a DTF single or gang sheets. So do make sure that wherever you're ordering accepts a ganged design. So if we scroll down, we see they have a wide variety of sheet sizes. Let's pick something big and a little odd. So let's pick a 12 by 17. So then we'll head over to Canva, click create a design, click custom size, change it to inches, and we'll go ahead and put 12 by 17, create new design. Now we have a 12 by 17 inch sheet to play around with and put all of our designs on. So then I'll go to uploads and if you don't already have your files upload, you'll click upload files and find those on your computer. I've uploaded several designs so you could see some examples. So first I'm gonna click this first design and it's so many books, so little time, and it's for a shirt. I can resize it by pulling the corner or I can click position and lock the ratio and pick a very specific size if I wanted to. So that's an eight by eight. One thing you are gonna wanna do, it does say it's an eight by eight, but it, that does include this white space sort of around here. So what we can do is pull in and get these as close as possible to the design without going into the design and that kind of crops from the sides. Then we can get a better idea of how big the actual design will be. And we can see now that this design is eight by 6.4. And let's say that works for my shirt. Now I would move it up to the corner. Now you do need to leave a little bit of margin. It does not have to be a ton of margin, but you don't want to butt the design all the way up into the corner. Come away just a little bit from the side and the top, that will be fine. Now let's say I wanted, I'm gonna make two of these shirts. I could go ahead and duplicate this and move it down. So now I have two of those designs. And let's say at the same time I'm making some hats and I'm going to put maybe this dog paw on my hat. Now in this case, when I add the dog paw, it's already cropped to exactly that dog paw. So I don't have to do anything to that. And I can resize this and let's say like a two and a half by two and a half size 
works great for my hats. And that means that these will fit right beside of this design and use up my sheet. So let's say I'm gonna make a couple of these cute little dog paw hats. Now something you might wanna be aware of is not moving these too close together. So I could probably get these super close together and sort of use the space in the dog paw to move that up. However, when this sheet comes in, you're gonna to wanna to be sure that you can cut these designs apart to actually apply them. So I would not utilize the area in that way. I would make sure they're separated enough where I'm comfortable that I can cut them apart. We can probably move this one up just a little bit and this one up a little bit, but I would make sure there's plenty of area in between these two to cut them apart. Next, perhaps we need this design for a shirt and I'm gonna size it about like that. However, and instead of moving it down below here, I'm gonna rotate it. So you can also rotate within canvas. I'm gonna rotate that. You can rotate it any amount. And if I move it over here, I might have to resize it just a little bit. But that's a pretty good size for say a small shirt and it works perfectly beside that design. So it's another way where you could add a ton of designs to the sheet. Finally, perhaps we'll add this fox and it looks like he needs cropped in from the side. And let's see if we can make like a three and a half by three and a half is great for a onesie. So I could add some onesie designs across the bottom. And finally, I have one more onesie design here. And because this one is kind of at an angle, I might be able to angle it on here and squeeze it in. So you can play around with different angles and really squeezing this sheet together. So I'm gonna squeeze these up a little bit and that still looks like there's enough room in between those two. And that gives me enough room to add a 3.2 by four, which sounds pretty good for a onesie. And I have squeezed that into the corner. So now I have a very full sheet. So instead of just sending one print to get printed for DTF prints or UV DTF stickers, you can use Canva to make a gang sheet and better utilize the sheet size when you purchase. Now, when you download from here, I'm going to First of all, give this a name, and then I'm going to click Share, Download, and in Canva, in order to get the DPI required for most printing, you are going to have to download it as a PDF. So you want a PDF for print, that's important to do the print, and then CMYK would be the best color profile for printing. And then you'll click Download, wait for that to download, Go back to your ordering site and then you can continue to order and upload that example gang sheet that you just made in Canva. Then you can continue and fill out the rest of the form to order your prints. So this is a great way to better utilize those sheets when ordering prints from various websites. So now hopefully you can see how useful this would be for any type of printing process. So whether you were ordering prints for say a DTF printer, which was our example, or say that you are utilizing your sublimation printer and you wanna make sure that you use the entire area. Now, if you are using a regular printer, a sublimation printer, different things like that, you do wanna keep in mind the margins on the side. So make sure that you keep the margins on the side of the paper because all printers will have a margin around the edge. A lot of times a DTF printer or those places that you order from can go edge to edge, which means they can almost get a full print. Now. You don't wanna go, like I stated in the video, you don't wanna go all the way to the edges ever because the printer can get off slightly and cut off your print. So never go all the way to the edges and keep the margins in mind if you're using something like a sublimation printer or a home printer because they may require a wider margin on the side than I've shown in this video. But otherwise, start taking those images and combining them together into a gang sheet and utilizing the most area out of your printable pages. This can really save you money, especially if you're ordering those prints. So instead of ordering all those individual little pieces that I showed in this video, I ordered one sheet, one gang sheet, and I got all of my prints for a reduced price. So be sure to give this a try when you're ordering prints or just printing at home. 
So now if you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you liked this video and it helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.